Good evening, boys and girls. Welcome to Candy's Cozy Couch. My name is Candace, and my nickname is Candy, and that's how I came up with that really majestic name. At least, I think it's pretty majestic. Actually, I think this story that I'm going to read tonight is pretty majestic, the animal in this story. But anyway, boys and girls, have you taken your baths, your showers, washed your face, brushed your teeth? Get them real good now. Don't miss a spot, because I want you to have those pearly white smiles. Oh, let's see what else. Have you said your prayers? If you haven't said your prayers yet, make sure you say it after the story before you go to sleep. Um, are you snug as a rug in a bug? Ready for bed? Ready for a bedtime story? Ready for a good night's sleep? Because I got one for you. I got one for you. This one is called Grandfather Buffalo, and it's by Jim Arnosky. That's pretty cool. I think animals are majestic, and I think the buffalo is probably a majestic animal. Grandfather Buffalo. Let me show you the inside cover. All right, here we go. Grandfather Buffalo was old and slow, but he was still strong. <clears throat> I'm old and slow. But I'm still strong. Don't mind me, guys. I'm going to add live. I'll add a voice for the buffalo. What I just said was not in writing, but I just felt like saying it. <laughs> he was the biggest and oldest bull in the herd. And he was getting older every day. He spent a lot of time alone, lying in the tall grass, resting his old bones. I just need some alone time. Gotta rest these old bones. Arthritis is kicking in. I need some big day. <laughs> <laughs> when the herd moved on, Grandfather Buffalo slowly stood, shook the dust off his sides, and followed each time he was left a little further behind. Oh, uh, wait up, y'all. Y'all know I'm kind of old. I can't really keep up no more. <clears throat> I would say go on without me, but I'm trying to stick to the herd. Aww. But as long as he could see the others, he was still a part of the herd. My eyes are still keen. I don't need glasses yet. I still see the herd. I'll catch up sooner or later. <laughs> Hmm. Longhorn Kettle and Prairie Dogs kept the old buffalo company some of the way. Mostly, though, he walked along following the fresh tracks of his herd. Uh, I see the footprints. I can see and smell. I can catch up sooner or later. Poor thing. One day, at the drinking stream, Grandfather Buffalo came upon another buffalo, also traveling far behind the herd. It was a young cow carrying the heavy weight of her unborn calf. <clears throat> another buffalo, as slow as me, just can't be. <clears throat> Together, they followed the tracks of the herd. When some cowboys came looking for their cattle, Grandfather Buffalo snorted at them and pawed the ground until they rode away. <clears throat> go on, go on now. Leave us be. Right, he's good for something, old grandfather. Later that night, with the herd grazing close by, the cow gave birth to her calf. All through the night, Grandfather Buffalo listened in the darkness for sounds of danger. But all he heard were the tiny bleats of the newborn calf and the soft grunts of its mother. 
don't worry, I'll protect you. I might be old, but I'm still strong. Nice. In the morning light, the old bull walked over for a closer look. The calf looked up unafraid. Oh, look at that beautiful calf. Hey, little guy, I'm Grandfather Buffalo. Oh, adorable. When the herd moved on, the calf stumbled and hopped and ran, trying to keep up with his mother and the rest. Grandfather Buffalo was close behind, nudging the calf along. Come on, little guy. You can do it. Don't give up. Ah, keep moving. You gotta keep going. Grandfather Buffalo will help you do it. They walked into a dust storm. The calf lost sight of his mother and ran around bleating loudly in the blur of the storm. He accidentally ran into Grandfather Buffalo and butted his head hard into the old bull's woolly side. Grandfather Buffalo grunted and kept grunting, grunting as he walked. The calf followed the sound through the blinding dust. <clears throat> when the dust cleared, the herd was grazing just ahead. The calf ran to his mother. Grandfather Buffalo was tired and wanted to be by himself. He found a quiet spot to lie down and quickly fell asleep. I'm very tired. I need some alone time. I wonder if he sounds like that when he snores. <laughs> it was night when the old bull was awakened by something pressing against his ribs. It was the calf napping by his side. Oh, little guy. Oh, bless your heart. Sleep tight, little fella. Sleep tight. In the light of the rising moon, Grandfather Buffalo got up waking the calf with the mor with the moonlight then the calf followed his mother and grandfather buffalo followed the calf down to the rest of the herd they all grazed together oh that's cool Grandfather Buffalo is really a good guy, you know. Grandfather Buffalo was old and slow, but he was still a part of the herd. Yay! Way to go, Grandfather Buffalo. I might be old and slow, but I'm still a part of the herd. <clears throat> the end. Yeah, don't make fun of me trying to make the buffalo's voice. <laughs> well, boys and girls, that was a fun story. Yep, I think buffaloes probably are pretty majestic creatures. They're probably very docile, too. They're not really mean. I think they're just really big old, I don't know, teddy bears. Anyway, boys and girls, don't forget, you are in control of your dreams. You are the gatekeeper. And you let those dreams be whatever you want them to be by simply closing your eyes, whispering to yourself what it is you would like to dream about, and then allowing yourself to drift off to sleep to have that special dream. Okay, boys and girls, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.